Okay, today we're gonna to talk about what this advanced bid adjustment is inside Google Ads, which is actually labeled like Uh, advanced bid ADJ. If you're seeing that in your account, you're wondering what the hell that even does. This is what this video is going to do. It, this video is basically for you. Uh, what this will actually, uh, in short, get you more phone calls that you're looking for, uh, specifically from mobile devices. So if you're looking for phone calls on mobile devices, this will get you more calls on mobile devices. If you're somehow wanting less calls from mobile devices, this could also get you less of them, which it's kind of like an oxymoron because if you didn't want calls on mobile devices for the most part, you would just shut it off. But there are situations where you would want to get less, but not shut off completely because that's not going to make you the most overall profit. I'll give you an example of a case where we had that was actually the case, as well as a case where you would definitely want to push more of the call extensions because the call extension, as you may know or may not know, doesn't always get shown on your ad and how this will contribute to more profits for your brand. So with all that said, I'll get directly into the content, not waste any more time. So there is an adjustment on Google Ads labeled, again, it's Advanced Bid ADJ, which is just short for Adjustments, Advanced Bid Adjustments. Now this was really confusing me when I first saw it, because when you click on it, all it says is calls in there. I didn't know what the hell it was. Plus there's no content basically on the web that really definitively lays this out, including Google's own content doesn't really talk about this. I had to do some testing to figure out what the hell this does myself. An investigation. What it basically does, okay, is it more or less uh, gets you more or less calls, specifically you know, on mobile devices, through showing your call extension on your ad more or less, depending on if you go up or down on the adjustment or the call only ad to show more or less based upon the adjustment, whether positive or negative, or whatever level you set the adjustment at. It works like any other bid adjustment that's done on the location level, age level, gender level, income level, but affects how many mobile calls or calls for mobile devices you're getting, okay? So with that said, if you're running a hybrid campaign where you actually have a campaign where you have regular search ads as well as call only ads in the same campaign, this bid adjustment will actually control how often the call only ad gets shown versus the regular ad, which is a really dumb configuration. No offense to anybody that's doing it, but you know, I'm not here to sugarcoat uh, the truth on this particular channel. If you want to do call only ads, put that into a separate campaign. Don't mix that with regular search ads, but if you did, and you were running that campaign for a while, now it's a little too late to switch it up because you're gonna take a, a hit in your results just from having to start a new campaign up. You, you're be, and, and in that situation, you're better off just using this bid adjustment and, get what it, and getting what you want, which you may want to get more calls on old devices and you can use this adjustment versus breaking it out into a separate campaign and then see volatility, negative volatility in your results having made a significant change in your account. Also, what this will do is it affects how often your call extensions show on your actual ad itself, as mentioned before, because the call extension, so what Google, just so that you know, a lot of people don't understand how this works. The, the ad extensions on your account, if you set up every possible ad extension on a campaign, let's say, right? The uh, site links, call out extensions, call extension, location extensions, let's say you did all of them, right? Well. Google doesn't actually show every extension. In no instance do they show every single ad extension there because the ad would be astronomically big. So what they're trying to do with all, everything that you give them in terms of extensions, ad extensions, um, or what they call now ad assets, by the way, just to stand corrected on that, they rotate through which ones that you give them, these assets, which is why, by the way, I think they call them assets now because they're you don't get to, there's no guarantee it'll get shown at all if you put a location extension on there, for instance. They rotate through them and they're looking for, at the end of the day, they're looking for ads that please their users the most. Ads that please users the most get the highest click through rates. That's an indication of uh, pleasability, you know, the ads that, are, that they're showing to their users are pleasing users for that search term in that situation. So, of all their advertisers, they're trying to find which advertiser to get shown. And then of the advertisers within that, uh, which ad 
headlines, descriptions, all that get shown, and the ad assets slash ad extensions uh, that should get shown to get the highest click-through rate from their ad block at the top of Google. So if they show your call extension and it doesn't get a high of click-through rate as if they show your location extension, they're going to start showing your location extension more, if not all the time. But there is no on or off with things because for every person that searches for uh, buy jock itch cream and you're advertising on, on buy jock itch cream, they're actually looking at all the hundreds of different people or thousands of different people that search for buy jock itch cream. Certain percentages of the people that search for buy jock itch cream are going to like seeing the call extension and call the number. Other people are going to like seeing the call out extension and that'll make them click on the ad more. And there, Google's ad algorithm is trying to figure out within the keyword on a keyword by keyword basis, want to see one ad, ex, uh, ad extension slash ad asset to extend the ad further over with one group versus what's going to make the click through rate from another group that searches for that keyword boost the click through rate for them. And so they'll sub segment each keyword that people search for on Google to dozens of different sub segments be, uh, after that and figure out what ad extensions and what ads should be shown for maximum click through rate on that ad block there. So I just wanted to tell you that because still though Google is based upon a bidding system so they want to show the most relevant ads for their users so that people click on ads in the future because they, if they show shitty ads people get a bad experience from the ads, they'll be less likely to pay attention to the ads in the future. So, but if you have enough money, they'll show your stuff anyway. There's a point in which you'll pay so much that they'll show, even though it's not going to get the highest click-through rate from your ad, they'll show it anyway. So if your business rely, really re relies on the calls from a mobile device, you could do a plus 500% bid adjustment on your advanced bid adjustment uh, for, for the call mobile calls there and start getting your call extension to show up at a higher percentage or like I said you know if you have a hybrid campaign that has call only ads and regular ads in there your call only campaign uh, ads will get, start getting shown more than they were before so anyway now you understand the mechanics behind this and how things work and why they work the way that they do quick couple examples of where this would actually be practiced and where it's useful, so to say. You know, we had a water water delivery company. You know, if you you know the five gallon, uh, you know, like the water cooler water that you get at at businesses, and some people have it at their home. Company, you know, a lot of people call in to reorder. Uh, most of the people who are new customers go through their contact form. Okay, they want contact forms from people that come from their Google ads more than they want uh, people that call because people that call are normally repeat customers. They don't want to pay, so at the very least, they don't want to pay as much for a repeat customer than they do for a new customer. So in this particular unique instance, we can actually get do a negative bid adjustment on the advanced bid adjustment so that we could tell Google if it's a new, ultimately through this scenario that I put, uh, portrayed for you here, which is a real scenario, we don't, act, if they're coming through and they want to call, it looks like they want to call, actually we're willing to bid less. So ultimately, the people that normally call that you see that are likely to want to call, we want to bid less for those people, if you will, whereas people that are more likely to fill out the form, we want to bid more for those people. So that's a, a unique scenario where you would actually do a negative bid adjustment on the calls and uh, wouldn't necessarily just shut off phone calls because there's a certain percentage who are going to want to call and if they can't call they might click on your competitors ad there and call them so you for the people that are going to call and nothing else you still want your ad to show up for them so that you capture that re repeat buy in that scenario whereas if they're a new customer we want to bid a lot more to make sure we're going to sh get shown in that case because that person's particularly more valuable slash more valuable to us we're willing to pay more and can get an ROI by paying more. So anyway, you, you now know of one unique kind of instance where doing a negative bid adjustment on this advanced bid adjustment would make sense to make you more overall money in your company given that you'll show up more for the more profitable people and less for the less profitable people as it, or less valuable people as it 
as if you will, or at, as it goes. So another instance though, where you'd go up in bid adjustment on this bid adjustment would be people like a towing company. Towing companies, as you know, if you're gonna call a towing company, most of your people that are gonna call you are gonna be out broken down on the side of the road. So that's, and the motivation of somebody broken down at the side of the road who ends up calling you is that will actually hire somebody is very, very high. However, you can still get some people that are calling from a desktop device, uh, mainly because they might have a desktop device in their car and they're using their uh, mobile Wi-Fi to power that device, just hypothetically. That would be a, a kind of a rare scenario. More so when, if you're broken down on the side of the road and it's a teenager and they're calling their parents, hey, will you call and give you know the towing company the address of where I'm at and uh, the credit card and so that dad calls from a desktop device and then you can get a lead that way. A lot of people would just say, no desktop device people, it's a waste of time. What I'm telling you is that's a dumb way to look about look at things because there's value there. You may not be able to have as much value from a desktop user as a mobile user, but it, there's still value there. And so if you're just being so obtuse as to say, no desktop people, I don't care. If, I, if it's a penny a click, I'm not paying it. That obviously is dumb. All traffic has a value. It's just a matter of what value the traffic has, assigning a value that's a, that will still get you an ROI, and then getting whatever trickle you can from that source. That's how you build up a multi-million dollar ad campaign for your business. You go to one source, value the traffic, price it appropriately, whatever you get, you get that's left, you go to the next source, do the same thing there and there and there, and you do it on all the traffic sources that are available to you online. Maybe some traffic for one place is worth one penny a click, whereas traffic over here is worth $50 a click. And with tracking, you can evaluate that. So anyway, as it goes back to what the topic at hand here, you can, with this advanced bid adjustment, say I wanna bid way more for somebody who's gonna call from a mobile device from my call extension or my call only ad. Though, I still wanna get people from desktop device, desktop device uh, calls coming in, even though I really want the mobile device calls coming in. So I'm gonna do a positive bid adjustment on this advanced bid adjustment so I get more, because the calls from the mobile devices are more valuable to us per call than the calls from the desktop devices, if you will. And technically in that scenario, you could have, of course do a bid adjustment on desktop versus mobile. But what I'm saying to you here is you're actually gonna get a little bit better results overall long-term if you use this advanced bid adjustment because it'll make sure your call extension shows up a higher percentage of the time. Not just you're gonna show up a higher percentage of the time on mobile itself, since that's what directly what it affects here. So with that said though, that's pretty much everything I could tell you about as it comes to this advanced mobile bid adjustment. If you have any questions about anything I covered here today, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel within a couple days time. Ask me any related question uh, that has to do with any ads that you're running. I'd be happy to try to answer it for you. That's what I'm here for. If you liked the video, I would appreciate a like on the video and you should consider subscribing because I have a lot of other content on this channel about money making money with ads on Google, Facebook, everywhere you can run an ad online. I pretty much cover those places where you can advertise online. Given this is all I do at my agency is just work on ad strategy for my clients. And we're in a unique position here as we guarantee results for our clients. We're the only agency that's doing it. And the stuff that we use to guarantee results for our clients, I give you the working strategies here on this channel. So it's the best information you can find on YouTube, bar none, on how to actually make money with ads. Not just theories or what this is, you know, you could click this button and here was what it does. No, here's how to make money. That's what I cover on this channel. So if you do the stuff that's on this channel, you'll make money, you'll make, you know, eventually your millions of dollars that you're looking for if you put the work in. If you like my channel, you also like my blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog, where you can also find my work, where, uh, my strategies that are, uh, that are working just like you can on this YouTube channel. I also have a column at entrepreneur.com where you can also find writing from myself on the most latest current stuff that's working and in, in, in industry changes and so forth that you need to know, you can also find it there. So as a whole, I'm not a YouTuber here that's just trying to make money off of advertising. I'm strategizing ad accounts all day long and only doing the strategy part of it. I have a team that does the rest, but 
it's the most relevant information you're going to find for myself, whether in writing or on my channel here. You should definitely be paying attention to it. Beyond that, if you have um, a need to have not just good, good results, but great results on your ad campaigns and don't want to do it yourself, reach out to me at my firm at guaranteeppc.com. I'd love to hear from you and see what you have going on. If we can work together, I don't take any fees at all from my clients to put together a strategy for you until you get more profit from your campaigns. And there isn't a catch there other than I have to like what you're selling and see a lot of potential there because I don't work with just any client. But if you do have a lot of potential, I would love working with you and I can get you a quote on how much results I can get for you for free just by reaching out to me. So I'd love to look at what you have potentially if you do want to work with an ad agency itself on an ongoing basis. If you don't want to work with an ad agency but you still want some good results, I can get you good results if we've worked in your industry before just by showing you what results we got in your industry before and you use the ads and landing page templates and everything that we have working for your industry already by operating in it and copying and pasting those kind of results into your account and we sell those results and, and templates uh, that come from templates that we have for your industry already for one time fee. We could tell you what results we can get in your industry before you would ever use those results and so therefore, instead of having to figure out what we found out over years of optimization and testing and everything else in, the, in your market, you'd be, you know, it, it's idiotic to not just use the results we already found what, what works in your market already, particularly if our results are better than the one, the results you're already getting, which is very likely. So if you're interested in, in seeing if we worked in your market before, reach out to me at guaranteeppc.com. I'd be happy to tell you what we have, what results we got in your market, if we gotten results in your market already. So, with that said, I'll wrap it up with that. Hopefully you enjoyed this video, see a lot of use from the data I provided, and I'll see you on the next one. See you later.